Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This is my DIY 100 watt flashlight. Okay, so the things you're gonna need, you're gonna need a old PC heatsink with a fan on it. You're gonna need a 100 watt LED. You're gonna need a DC to DC converter, and you're also gonna need a buck converter. Um, now, I wanted to bench test this, so I wired it all up. And as you can see, I've got 27 volts going to the LED right now. Now, that's not its maximum. Its maximum is actually 32 volts. I just wanted to do a bench test first. And I got this old flashlight from Goodwill. I just went there and thought that this one would make a good size and fit all my uh, electronic components. And um, so I decided to give it a try. And as you can see, it's been used, but uh, I'm going to reuse it and repurpose it to be my LED 100-watt uh, flashlight. So it should be pretty bright when I'm all, all done with it. And as you can see, it cost me $4.20. So it was uh, a no-brainer on my part. Now, you're also going to need some thermal paste to put on the fan um, and I got a little kit from eBay also to uh, mount the LED to my uh, heatsink and it also had a magnifying uh, glass on it also which was uh, really cool that will give it a much wider broader range of spraying light out there so there's my heatsink I had to Dremel tool uh, and cut off some of the uh, the wings on that thing because that they wouldn't fit inside the flashlight enclosure at first. So now I am taking apart my flashlight uh, and discarding any pieces that might not be necessary or won't fit in the uh, new arrangement I, I'm gonna put together here. But as you can see on the inside it's got a lot of room in there so once I break this apart, I could uh, start looking at how I'm going to mount the components. And, um, you know, it was pretty empty in there, actually. I guess that was for storage or something before because it didn't have any electronics in the actual bay. There is the old battery, which I'm going to discard, along with the bulb. Uh, the battery was pretty much shot. So there is my heat sink. I mounted it with just a couple of screws. Uh, going into the plastic and uh, it lined up pretty nicely in the middle and I marked it right and left so I can get some orientation on it and as you can see there's my uh, mounting screws going through the sides there I've seen some other YouTube videos that have utilized PVC uh, to do this project but I decided to use a used flashlight body uh, so I wouldn't have as many things to actually build okay so here is some footage of me putting it together and I had already uh, cut out a location so I could see my LED readout for my voltage output and uh, and now I'm trying to figure out how to mount it to the actual enclosure. I decided to use some standoffs that would go on a motherboard for a PC and the motherboard screws. Since I had a lot of those spare, um, it was an easy choice. And I just uh, mounted the board to it and then mounted it to the enclosure. So 
as you can see, here's my DC to DC converter. I'm going to fit it on the uh, left side of the enclosure and uh, I'm just figuring out how my wire routes are going to go. And as you can see on this side, I've pretty much figured out what's going to go on there and that's going to be my uh, buck converter. And there is my buck converter. Now, there are some controls and a little pot there to adjust the voltage. And uh, I am going to, uh, later in this video, actually have to drill out holes to allow those to be changed later um, or modified later if I want to up the voltage or lower the voltage. And on the back, I wrote the in and the out. That way I could uh, tell which orientation uh, I could hook up the wiring later without having to take it off. And that is my readout, so I can tell my voltage output. So I know when it drops pretty low that uh, the batteries are probably going to need to be recharged. And as you can see here, some of my wiring there, once I zip tie this all up, it's actually not going to be that bad. And I made a quick little battery pack using some 18650 batteries and I just hooked them into a connector and that way I could break it off and then uh, set them up for charging whenever I wanted to. I might make a more permanent backpack later that I can charge while it's still in the unit but uh, that's another project. Here I am testing it and I'm going to press the button and the fan starts kicking which needs to cool down the heat sink and um, and you can see I have about 25.8 volts coming out of the unit right now so here's the unit together I'm going to do a second test just to make sure that uh, I'm putting out some voltage and as you can see there's room in there to put the batteries although like I said I might make a uh, backpack that I can put in there and uh, not have to charge or be able to charge later. And there's my uh, LED mounted to the heat sink before I have final placement. So now here's my screws that are going into the heat sink on my LED. And then here it is before I've soldered it on there. And there it is after I've soldered it, mounted all the screws, and got my magnifying uh, glass on there. So there it is mounted on the flashlight fully with the uh, basically everything put back together. So now I'm going to do a test just to make sure it lights up and as you can see I've got 26.9 volts coming out of my buck converter and my flashlight is now functioning and I'm just going to do a quick test see how bright it is right now and that is not full brightness I discovered that I needed at least 30 volts to get it close to full capacity. So as you can see, here's my mounting screws for my components. And I also drilled a hole on the top and a couple of holes because there's a couple of buttons for in and out of the voltage on the buck converter. And as you can see, I now set it to 30 volts. And you can see the little pot there to adjust it. And it's much brighter now. So 30 volts seems like the sweet spot for the LED. So anyway, so here are the things you're going to need. You're going to need a DC to DC boost converter uh, along with a high powered 100 watt LED. You're going to need one set of the magnifying glass and also the mounting kit. You're going to need an LM2596 uh, buck step converter. And you're also going to need a flashlight of some sort. I got mine from Goodwill and some thermal paste. And the one thing I didn't draw on here was the uh, was the fan and the heatsink. But uh, 
it's pretty basic and straight uh, forward if you just put your positives to your uh, ins and then uh, your corresponding outs and your negatives to your ins and your outs and you hook that to your LED and adjust all your pots correctly uh, you should start out with 12 volts and you should be able to get it up to 30 volts and this will allow your uh, lower voltage to actually drive that uh, very powerful LED. Now I know I've read that it can go up to 32 volts but uh, you never want to stress out your electronics and put them to their absolute maximum. So I, I settled on 30 volts and that seems plenty bright to me. So this was a super fun, cheap project that you can do with minimal cost considering the amount of power that you get out of this flashlight. Um, you know, flashlights can go for over a hundred dollars uh, that have this kind of brightness. But anyway, this is my project, this is my video, and I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like, please like, comment, or subscribe. Yeah.